Many Canadians are spending the Labor Day weekend enjoying the last of the summer break. But in New Brunswick, tens of thousands of people spent at least part of the holiday fulfilling their civic duty. New Brunswickers turned out in unusually high numbers for advanced polling. As Ross Lord explains, many were eager to avoid Election Day lineups because of the pandemic. Before they conduct Canada's first general election of the pandemic, New Brunswickers are taking advantage of the option of voting early. I thought I better get here before there's too big a lineup. Advanced polls like this one in Rothsay report big increases in turnout compared to the previous election two years ago. Well, I usually actually come to the advanced polls because I'm a working mom, so it's actually kind of easier, but I'm surprised by how many people are at this time so early. We are seeing lineups, which I would say is unusual for the advance, the first day of advanced voting. Elections MB is encouraging people to avoid even longer lineups on election day by voting early or by mail-in ballot. Organizers hope by limiting large clusters of voters, they help prevent the spread of COVID-19. I suspect the uh, pandemic has something to do with it, uh, including the reason I'm here. I'm not going to be available on one of the other times. It's a nice day and, and avoid the crowd. Polls suggest that progressive conservatives under former Irving Oil executive Blaine Higgs might turn their shaky minority government into a more comfortable majority. For those wondering if Canadians will take an interest in voting during the pandemic, the early indications from New Brunswick are encouraging. So it is safe to vote, especially given the measures that uh, Elections New Brunswick has put in place around social distancing, around face masks, around hand sanitizers. The second chance to vote early comes on Tuesday. The New Brunswick general election is less than a week later on September 14th. Ross Lord, Global News.